Welcome back to World News, where we present you the most important and funniest news from all over the entire world. This week's topics are news about Covid, if the pig's heart works in humans as well, that Russia will soon be unable to pay its debts, and the weekly update on the Russia-Ukrainian war. We hope that you enjoy this week's news and let's jump right into the video. News about Covid Covid has become a loyal companion in our everyday lives, but even after three years of restrictions and research, we aren't even close to knowing everything about the virus. For example, another life-saving Covid drug was identified in UK. The anti-inflammatory baricitinib, or however it's pronounced, is normally used to treat rheumatoid arthritis. But trials suggest it can cut death risk by about a fifth in patients needing hospital care for severe COVID. Researchers say that it could be used with other COVID treatments such as the cheap steroid dexamethasone as well to save even more lives. And this is great because over 6 million people already died from COVID. And with that new medical innovation this number will probably rise much slower. But unfortunately there aren't just good news. A new study which was published in the journal Nature suggests that COVID may be causing changes to the brain. Scientists found significant differences in MRI scans before and after the infection. And just so you know MRI is short for magnetic resonance imaging, which is a technique used to scan the brain so brain cancer or inner bleedings for example can be spotted or located. But back to the topic. Even after a mild infection, the overall size of the brain had shrunk slightly, with less grey matter in the parts related to smell and memory, and apart from the brain scan, those who had recently recovered from COVID found it a bit harder to perform complex mental tasks. The researchers who conducted that study do not know whether the changes are permanent, but stressed that the brain could heal. Does a pig's heart work in humans as well? Part 2 you probably noticed that this topic is titled Does a pig's heart work in humans as well part 2, right? Well that's because I've already talked about this topic in the first video on this channel, which actually wasn't that long ago. Back then I told you about the first human with a malfunctioning heart who got a genetically modified heart of a pig transplanted. A few days after that surgery, which lasted several hours by the way, he felt good and his body didn't reject the heart. And it stayed this way until, a few days ago, his condition started getting worse and worse until he died on Tuesday. His name was David Bennett Sr. and he got 57 years old. Of course his death is a tragedy, but it definitely wasn't avoidable. He had a severe heart disease and since it can take months or even years to get a heart from an organ donor and he didn't have that much time, he agreed to become part of this groundbreaking medical experiment. And if he had lived, the human medicine would have gotten much further, yes. But his participation alone and the data that the scientists could gather during these months will probably still help the medical research on its way to find the ideal non-human heart that works in humans as well. But until then we've got many problems left to overcome and we need more people like David Bennett who are brave enough to believe in modern science and to risk their lives to give many other people with similar illnesses a chance for a better life and a brighter future. Russia will soon be unable to pay its debts. The Russia-Ukrainian war has many big consequences for the participating countries but for the world in general as well. And the Russian economy is one of the things that is more affected, if not most affected from this war. And yes, several companies like Adidas, Lego, H&M, Ikea, Ford, Aston Martin and countless other companies stop providing their services or selling their products in Russia. But that's not my point. The Russian banks were excluded from the SWIFT system, which is why the ruble is in a constant freefall. Experts even say that Russia soon won't be able to pay their debts anymore. And that's clear if you have a look at how much the ruble is worth. Right now one ruble is worth around 0.83 cents, which is probably an all time low considering that before the invasion, Russia was able to stay up front in the global economy thanks to their huge oil reserves that many countries still rely on. And unfortunately I couldn't find an exact exchange rate for the ruble before the Russian invasion, but you can be assured that it was much higher than it is right now. And you already know that it didn't take the internet long to come up with memes about that inflation. And one of my favorite ones is, hey, you know our favorite rapper? We call him 4 million ruble. Hilarious, right? Well, for the people in Russia this isn't hilarious, because their economy probably will never recover from that, let alone the ruble. The Russo-Ukrainian War the war is still going on and there is no end in sight, but of course there are new developments every day. One of these is that the number of Russians fleeing their country is continuously rising. So some Russian people that dislike the actions of their government or rather Putin flee to the United States for example, which probably is one of the smartest things that most Russians could do in this situation. 
Because I've told you that this war straight up killing the Russian economy. So after the war, the Russians that didn't lose their lives will have almost nothing to live on. Apart from that, Russian troops started circling the Ukrainian capital Kyiv, which now is more like a fortress than an actual city. But the Ukrainians and other supporters have proven that they are gonna protect their city with their lives. So Kyiv is gonna stay Ukrainian if Russia isn't gonna bring out chemical weapons. And yes, several countries fear that Putin won't even stop there and that he could order strikes with nerf gas or other bioweapons or chemical weapons, since Russia used those in the past to get rid of enemies of Putin and Russia in general. Unfortunately, this war will continue raging and all we can do is help Ukrainian refugees in all possible ways. So consider donating money or clothes if you're able to do so because apart from that, we can't do much but hope that this war will be over soon. These were the most important and funniest news from the past week. If you've got any suggestions on topics that we missed out on, feel free to let us know in the comments. And now to this week's bonus fact. Elephants are the only mammals that cannot jump. Unlike all other mammals on earth, elephants do not have kneecaps. Therefore, they are unable to bend their legs and acquire the needed propulsion to leave the ground.